What's up, everybody? It's an obnoxious way to talk. What do we got here? Here, Nanny Taylor, always. How bad is that craving right now? Zero out of ten. Hey, I appreciate the share. Let's demo some of these right now and see if we can have a pretty cool experience. What's up, Nanny Taylor? 18. How bad is that craving? Zero out of ten. Ten being then I'm going nuts. B10. So for real time, that's awesome. We're gonna kill that thing. Uh, please share this live. TikTok won't stop telling me to tell you to do that. It's nice and help and a helpful reminder. Cool. Ten. Ten for Terry. Great. So let's do five or six different things here and see what happens. First thing I want you to do. Um, notice the experience of that craving. What kind of noise is in your head? So a lot of times you have a problem. It's driving you nuts. And then, uh, or maybe it's a minimal problem, but the noise in your head makes it worse, right? That's kind of sucks, right? You start thinking about all this stuff going on. I can't, when am I going to be able to overcome this? I'm anxious. I'm overwhelmed, all that. So first thing I want you to do is find a spot in front of you somewhere. We'll just do this for 10 seconds or so. Everybody else can do this too, even if you're not a smoker, because it's trippy. Uh, find a spot in front of you, look at it. As you look at that spot, really, really focus on just not letting your eyes move. Just focus on not letting your eyes move for a moment. And when you're doing this, I want you to notice the sensation of the noise in your head. I'm going to be silent for five or 10 seconds to let y'all experience this. Six. So it already went from a 10 to a six for Nanny Taylor, and all she did was still her eyes. So one more time, focus on that spot in front of you, Nanny Taylor. And as you focus on that spot, you're quieting that mental chatter. I'm not letting my eyes move. Jaw drops. Just drop your jaw. And I'm going to skip to step three here also. Slow deep breath in. Exhale even slower. And one more deep breath like that. Slow deep breath in. Exhale even slower. Let that jaw hang down. If you got to purse your lips gently to exhale slower, that's fine. Just enjoy that sensation. And Nanny Taylor, as you focused on not allowing your eyes to move, you relaxed your jaw and paid attention to your breath a little bit, exhaling slower than for the amount of time that you inhale. What happened to that craving? Well, in terms of the number now. And what else are you noticing that's interesting? So folks, I did a uh, version of this on my YouTube as long as it's not over 10 minutes, I'll post it here on TikTok. Go to my TikTok and, and or I'm sorry, go to my YouTube and, and follow it. You'll see the uh, this video posted later today. I, I, but it's just me talking to the camera. And, <laughs> and where are we at? Where is Nanny Taylor? That's who we're waiting. So you went from a 10 to a 6. Where are you at now? Four, the noise is calming me down. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. So you're already down to a 4. And we're not doing anything, right? There's no nicotine replacement therapy. There's no vape pen. There's no shantix. We're just having fun with how your body actually works and you get to experience it in an organic way. I mean, I'm not even really teaching any techniques here. This is breathing and focusing on not having your eyes move. Cool. So what else do we want to do here? There's so many things we can do to manipulate this. Um, let's have you do a bullet breath. This is kind of intense, right? So what I want you to do now is find that where you're feeling that sensation of the craving at a four in your body. This is a little bit more of an abrupt technique, but you can use this for any number of things, you know, uh, feeling of fear, um, anger, uh, you get in a fight, you get punched. I'm sure you get punched in the face all day out in fights. So whatever it is, you have pain in your body, you can blow this out of your body pretty quickly. It's actually like a cool special forces technique. So what I want you to do is find that sensation of the four that's remaining for the craving, scan from the top of your head or your toes, find it where it's the strongest, and just, just point at it with one hand. I'm going to do this. I'm going to look ridiculous, but let's just say it's in the mouth, for instance. It's, a lot of people have them there, in the hands, the chest, whatever, and the pit of the stomach. Where do you feel the strongest? Put your uh, point at that sensation, and you're just going to do two things. You're going to inhale violently, exhale even more violently. I'll demonstrate it, and when you do that, uh, imagine you're shooting that craving out of your body like it's a bullet from a gun. <laughs> Boom, getting it out of there, right? So, okay. Here we go. I'm going to do it. I'm focused on the sensation, inhaling violently, exhaling even more violently. <sighs> Hard as I can. I'm imagining shooting that out of my body. Do that two or three times and notice what happens. I'm waiting for Nanny's response here. 
T, how do you view vaping as a smoking alternative? I don't. It, it, not, not, neither one of those are addressing the problem. Right? A vape can't quit for you. Uh, Shantix can't quit for you. A patch, a piece of gum can't quit for you. Right? We've got to... You probably, maybe, maybe I'm wrong here. You might disagree with me. The way I work with folks is we solve the actual problem and then the smoking goes away and it's different per person. That's why people say, how do you, how do you help people like quickly, uh, <laughs> like efficiently? But, um, in terms of a methodology, it's going to be based on you, right? If I'm going to work with you, T, I'm not going to work with you the same way I would with the silver or Hank Trill or Jeffrey Allen. We're all different. Uh, so I think the reason my, my approach is so effective is I'm, I'm working with you as the individual and, uh, I just, in my experience, it, 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 sometimes people can vape and get off cigarettes, but usually they wind up doing both or they're stuck vaping. Um, and that's statistically the case too, right? Um, but I know anecdotally people that do it. So that's just my honest answer there, T. I don't want to, I don't want to lead you astray. Energy shifts. That's right. I just lowered my, so it snaps. Yeah, I, I, I. Yeah. Oh, uh, where is Nanny at now? I think I missed her comment. Yep, same ETCHS speed waking. I don't know what that is. Okay, where is your craving at now, Annie? Having done that three or four or five times, just blowing that out too. So Nanny's already down to a two. I think we've been on this live for, I don't know, a few minutes. And we're really going slow here because I want to teach the steps. And she's not even good at this stuff, guys. Nanny's not even good at this stuff. She's never, I don't think you've ever done these before. I could be wrong, Nanny Taylor 18. I'll let us know if you've done it before. So, uh, but I think it's probably pretty unusual techniques. So now you've got a two. Where are you noticing that two at in your body, Nanny Taylor 18? Where's that two located? Oh, I love hearing that airboat. The taste. Wow. Beautiful. And, you know, again, taste is the, it's tied to the olfactory gland and smells and taste are uh, the strongest sensation tied to memory. So this is where in a session I might go into, I wouldn't make Nanny Taylor 18 go into a regression if I wanted to blow this out completely out of her life. Um, but I bet it would show up organically pretty quickly. She would have a, a memory from her first cigarettes or something along the lines of memory of somebody smoking. Who knows what it could be? It doesn't matter. It's organic to her. Uh, just to give you folks a little bit of context to how quickly we can work with folks to eliminate this problem. So you're feeling this too in your mouth. And what's it taste like right now when you think about smoking Nanny Taylor 18? What, what kind of sensations are you getting in your mouth? I'm so tempted to come in here and just do like a, an aversion and just make that terrible taste in your mouth. <laughs> or make that taste terrible, but I think dirt, gee, or God. So that dirt, you're craving that flavor of dirt in your mouth at it too. You tell me a little bit more about that, Nanny, Nanny Taylor. Oh, Kevin's in here. What's up, Kevin? Kevin, say hi again so everybody can follow you. I love Kevin Doherty's content. Kevin Doherty is one of the few people on the planet I recommend smokers to that don't want to work over Zoom. If they're in upstate New York, I go, hey, you got to, even if they're uh, in Pennsylvania, I say, go, go see my buddy Kevin because he works in a similar way. He's fantastic. He's really something. And he posts uh, quite a bit of content. I think you just made like 12 videos or something you told me. Uh, yeah, folks, say hi. Say hi, Kevin. Uh, I've been wanting to quit for a long time. Yep. Mm, dirt. Where is she at right now? So what's coming up for you now is the idea that, hey, I've been wanting to quit for a long time. I've been smoking since 2 a.m. nonstop. I don't even Good, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, Nanny Taylor 18, what's the most powerful thing you learned from this experience? And again, we're just goofing around, really. We're not really too. It's kind of like, I usually don't even, like, these things don't even really matter. They're fun, they're cool, uh, and they're easy to do. Uh, so I figure why not just, if people want to do things cold turkey, you know. Uh, here you go. Uh, here's a bunch of cool ways to manipulate your experience of that craving. And get a little bit of control over it. Uh, but if anybody wants to work with me one-on-one -on -one and just knock this out of their life forever, all you do is go to my TikTok page. And uh, once you go there, there's a little Calendly site. And you click it. And then you got to fill out a survey. 
and fill that out properly. Take your time. Like, don't jump off the live and go do it in five seconds. Like, take some time, right? Because uh, I'm going to use that for the... It's really... Smoking cessation is already beginning now if you're in my life, right? You can probably get the sense of that. Um, but as you're filling that out, I'm going to use some of those details in the call we'll have, and then I'll map out how I'd help you quit. And again, it's going to be custom to you, right? Because again, everybody's different. So um, where I got to go find mind over matter is what you learned. Yeah. How many of you get a uh, sense that have been here since the beginning that there is a mind over matter thing here? Yes, we're doing things to manipulate. It's more like we're using our mind now. We're actually using it versus uh, I think because cravings are things that happen to people. A lot of times folks make an assumption then that um, smoking cessation is something that's going to happen to you versus something you're going to do. And this is a big misconception, right? And I, I mean, I've trained with everybody on the planet with this stuff. And uh, a lot of times those folks he even kind of, I, I would say, get it wrong in my estimation that they think that the the smoking cessation specialist is going to quit for you. And that's not something we can do. But we can empower you with tools, strategies, techniques. And when we do the deep underlying work, you've set yourself up to win. And does this make sense to anybody or does it just sound like hogwash and crazy and woo-woo? Does this resonate? Yeah, I, I like that North Carolina hunter. If you don't mind, it don't matter. Yeah, 100%. Does this make sense at all, folks? Colleen Marie followed me. It's one of my dear friend's names. That's funny.